Welcome to Inspire. My name is Rich DeBose with Pacific Union Conference Creative Ministries. And once again, I'm here with Greg Evans to share Hi, with you a couple of new artists that we're excited about and we're glad to have on Inspire. We are excited about having him. Uh, Casey Hohensi uh, joins us here from the Loma Linda area and he is a percussionist uh, and just is incredible. We've got some great stuff set up here that he's gonna demonstrate for us in a little bit. Uh, and we've also got Nicholas Miller uh, with us today. And Nicholas, uh, we're gonna start with you. And uh, you are a musician, a guitarist, a singer-songwriter, and a producer, and, and also a drummer. And you've got a, a real long resume of, of talent. And tell us how, you're, uh, how you got started with it and how you're using that to tell God's story. Okay. Uh, so as the youngest, first of all, I wanna say it's awesome to be here. I'm so Welcome. honored to be in the presence of you. Glad to have people. you. Uh, <laughs> And my story is uh, just as the youngest of three uh, boys in a household, the way we found out about worship was kind of through music. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the, the main ingredients to our household was a song was almost put into everything that you do, almost like a Sound of Music or Mary Poppins type of thing. And we loved it. We, it, was, it was how we connected with things that we necessarily didn't always see. And as I moved into my college years and out of high school, because I went to a private uh, Adventist school, mm -hmm. and uh, I loved it there. But once you get, I got into college, I realized uh, it was different because I wasn't at an Adventist uh, uh, institution anymore. Mm -hmm. So I had to figure out, without all these things always constantly reminding you who God is or how you can always ha find worship and be inspired uh, by God's awesomeness, uh, I learned about it through me deciding to, I'll just make music myself to encourage and uh, kind of continue that same upbringing and uh, spirituality that was in my life from such mm -hmm. an early age. So it started with playing drums and it turned into playing guitar and an uh, occasional song would uh, manifest out of it. Mm -hmm. And then right. producing became a thing after we started uh, picking up and going and spreading this, uh, I guess this ministry with other people. And uh, it's been wonderful. Uh, it's landed me at a, I, I now work for the city that I, I live in now, uh, teaching guitar to other kids, which Fantastic. has been a, a blessing to me. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, what what a gift for them to have someone like you as a teacher. No, seriously, that's that's really neat. I know that music is in your DNA yeah. because your dad uh, is a music teacher, and yes. and I think that's probably where that those childhood things come from, isn't mm -hmm. uh, don't they? Yeah, they do. And uh, I think uh, I the inspiration I think for specifically using your uh, platform or your talent that God has given you to reach other people as was made awesome but practical through my father. And then uh, even going before him, his dad uh, was a horn player in Memphis, uh, Gene Boatlegs Miller. And he was oh. so influential, I think, in setting a standard of like, you present something to people, not just to show what you've done, but to inspire them to do, even if it's not the same thing, to right. go out and do something that will inspire other people. And that's essentially that's something that's spilled over into a ministry aspect. We're always trying to do something that inspire someone else to go out and do something. Even if it's not exactly the same message that you're trying to give, you want it to be something uplifting like and inspiring. You're too. not just entertaining people. Yeah. You're, you're trying to inspire them. Absolutely. Yeah. Our yeah. world needs that yeah. for sure. It sure it? does, yeah. yeah. And him being a teacher for 30 years, I think inspiration became less magical and more, it still it, it retained its specialness, but mm -hmm. uh, the magic of it and how practical got fused together it's something special about the it mechanics. but you can inspire people yeah the mechanics can happen almost every day yeah because i saw it like every morning he'd get up and go inspire kids to love music so so do you help with worship in your church i do yes um i am just one of the praise team members uh but i always help try and do some of the arrangements for songs uh we have a wonderful uh ministry of music uh james brown at uh at our church and he does a wonderful job but I think uh, they've been so gracious to allow me to just be a part of that team, and I love every minute of Which it. Which church do you go to? I go to Tamron Avenue, uh, Seventh-day Adventist Church, mm -hmm. right in Compton, California. I okay. love it so, so much. They are, I mean, I just think it's such a great mixture of believers. It's so great. It, so you write worship songs, too. I do, yes, and it's something very recent. I, I, I used to uh, play drums in various bands, and I loved arranging things. And then it spilled over into some of the personal thoughts that I'd have. So I'd hear other people write songs and I'd become more aware of like, it's really healthy to uh, 
put out some of those thoughts that you have, uh, especially when I was in college, because uh, I didn't have those songs in, uh, in the house as much anymore because I'm out being a college student. And uh, yeah, it was, it was wonderful. Some of the things that we've finished writing is on the, the newest EP that I've done, which is Power. So uh, the songs that I've done on here are pretty much the, the focal point of me understanding how important and powerful God is in a young person's life. And at whatever age you are, realizing that God is your power source is something super important. Important. He's kind of the, the power source of any inspiration I think mm -hmm. I've had to this point. So. So, and you obviously have a website. Um. Yes, yeah, yeah. Uh, we, have a, we have a website that's in development. Right now we work through an email for all the uh, production things that we do in uh, Be Positive Music, which is the, the, the music team that I work under. And I do production with them and write my own songs with be them. Bepositive.org or com? Uh, it's going to be bepositive.com. Okay. So, yeah. Cool. Very nice. Well, I know that some of your music has gotten some radio airplay. You've had some early... Uh, success with that. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, yeah. Uh, KJLH, uh, 102.3 on FM out in Los Angeles, uh, which is pretty much ran by the incomparable Stevie Wonder of a songwriter. Mm -hmm. uh, so wow. uh, that his graciousness and his team heard uh, in some of the music that we had put out early on, and they allowed me to keep writing, and they said, when you release something else, let us hear it. And they just kept encouraging the, the inspiration right. to keep going. And then they, uh, they played it on their, uh, their radio station, and I, I must have, I don't, I don't usually run around or freak out, but that was one of the ones where I'm a, I'm a, I'm a I'll sit real still like, man, something's happening right now. So that was uh, I, I that think was that's moment. a g appropriate reason to run around and freak out. <laughs> I, I yeah, yeah. need to hear a song. I think so, yeah. Um, you're going to bless us with a couple songs. Why don't you go and okay. uh, get ready to do that? Ready to do that. Uh, yeah. Rich, I just love enthusiasm. Enthusiasm. Uh, that is just infectious, and Nicholas has that in spades. So it is. It's, it's great to hear. Yeah. Look forward to hearing him. So this first song I want to do is called Tell Me Who. Ever since I can remember, I've been running, acting like I was all good, but I knew that I was fronting. I just needed a place for me to escape from the noise, somewhere that I could go and recollect my poor. See, I've been searching for something that could complete me. Sometimes I sit back and wonder how they could use me and mistreat me. It was almost enough to make me lose all of my sanity and make me misplace my faith in humanity. But tell me who can wipe away my past. Cause only you can make these moments last Tell me who can reignite my soul Cause only you can make me feel whole, yeah Tell me who, yeah, tell me who It's only you, Lord, it's only you, yeah Tell me who, yeah, tell me who It's only you, Lord, it's only you, yeah Tell me who, yeah, tell me who It's only you, Lord, it's only you, yeah Tell me who Tell me who, it's only you, Lord, it's only, mm, yeah, yeah, tell me, tell me who, cause no one, no one can do me like you do, mm, yeah, yeah, tell me, tell me who, cause no one, no one can do me like you do me, yeah. I used to think that things would never ever change Thought there was no way to win So I even played these games It all seemed pointless and unnecessary Weight of the world seemed impossible for me to carry But then you showed me how it's gonna work out If I stay in my lane and don't focus on what they talking about And stop obsessing and stressing and focus more on my blessings and learning lessons I would all be so refreshing now Cause every day you take away my fears And when I'm broken you wipe away my tears And every day it's new mercies that I see Cause every day I know who's looking out for me yeah. Tell me who, yeah, tell me who It's only you, Lord, it's only you, yeah Tell me who, yeah, tell me who It's only you, I know it's only, only you, yeah Tell me who, yeah, tell me who it's only you, Lord, it's only you, yeah. Tell me who, yeah, tell me who. It's only you, 
Lotus on it, mm, yeah, yeah. Tell me, tell me who. Cause no one, no one can do me like you do. Mm, yeah, yeah. Tell me, tell me who. Cause no one, no one can do me like you do, man, yeah. See, all those days I was hurting, you made me feel better. Said when my heart fell apart now, you went and put it back together. You'll have some days you'll be hurting, but he can make you feel better. Said when your life falls apart now, he'll be the one to put you back together, yeah. Tell me who, yeah, tell me who. It's only you, Lord, it's only you, yeah. Tell me who, yeah, tell me who. It's only you, I know it's only, only you, yeah, yeah. Tell me who, yeah, tell me who. It's only you, Lord, it's only you, yeah. Tell me who, yeah, tell me who. It's only you, Lord, it's only you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, Lord, Lord. Oh, 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 tell me who, yeah, tell me who, it's only you, Lord, it's only you. Very nice. So the other song that I want to do is a, a favorite of my grandmother's. Uh, she was a big, big reason I think our family is so, I think, sound in our faith to really put things together. This song is called, Were You There? It's uh, based on a hymn. Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Were you there when they crucified my Lord? And oh, 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 sometimes it causes me to Were you there when they crucified? Were you there when they laid him in a tomb? Were you there when they laid him in a tomb? And oh, 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 I say that sometimes it causes me to Were you there when they laid him in? Thy will be done. Thy will be done over my life, Jesus. Thy will be done. Thy will be done. If you never pull me out this fire, if you let me crash into the seas, I will still serve you, Lord, cause you are my God and King. So I'll say, thy will be done. Thy will be done. See, if you never move another mountain, if you never part another sea, Lord, I will still love you, Lord. Because you first loved me Now were you there when that stone was rolled away? Oh, I'm so glad that my stone's been rolled away And oh, 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 oh Sometimes it causes me to Sometimes it causes me to Sometimes it causes me I said sometimes it causes me to Oh, 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 oh. I said sometimes it causes me to tremble Oh, to just tremble 
God's grace was there when they crucified him. And love was there when they laid you in. And I'm so glad that my stone's been rolled. You came from heaven to earth to show me the way from the earth to a cross is my debt you pay from the cross to the grave from the grave to the sky so I lift your name on high thank you very much beautiful song mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Okay, we break now. Nicholas, those songs were fantastic. Thank you, Thank so, thank you much. so much for sharing that with us. Thank you, guys. Our next artist is Casey Hoensey. Mm -hmm. I've known Casey for a number of years uh, over at Newberry Park Academy where he was a student. My, my kids went to school. Uh, my son and daughter went to school with him. And even back then, he was doing a great job on percussion and drums. And it's been fun to watch it develop over the years. Mm -hmm. um, but I think it's neat that we're featuring a per percussionist or a drummer. Yeah, um, I, do, I do too, Rich. I agree. Uh, it, we haven't always embraced rhythmic uh, instruments uh, in our church. And, and, you know, it has taken uh, some time to, to get that. And I'm so glad that we're uh, finally able to, to do it because musicians like KC is just... Uh, such a value added uh, part of music. It's an intrinsic part of it, uh, the rhythm. And it's great that, that uh, you're so good at what you do. And, and uh, you know, we, we appreciate, I've heard you many times at when I used to come to church here and uh, when I lived in this area and here in Loma Linda to relive and I would hear you. And Casey is such a musical drummer. How long? You've been playing maybe uh, since the childhood, I would assume? Uh, not quite. Uh, okay. Um, focused when it, with it, when it comes to drums um, for about 24 years, though. Okay. So yeah. a decent amount of time. Right. I right. put my hours in. Yeah. I always refer to Adventist drummers as the loneliest musicians in the world. <laughs> uh, but it's nice that, like I said, uh, you're able to, to play. And, and I, I just love hearing what you do. And, um, you know, it just is inspiring to me. So, so what think, inspired you to take up the sticks? Ah, uh, boy, that's a, that's a crazy story. I don't know that anything specific inspired me other than having an opportunity to sit down behind a drum set at the age of 13. Um, I grew up on a private academy campus, and on Sabbath afternoons, my mother would go to the little chapel on that campus and would just want to practice and play piano, play gospel tunes, play hymns and stuff. And one particular Sabbath afternoon, I had joined her just to go spend time with her, and there was a drum set set up on stage for a, wow. for a concert for the academy that evening. And I sat down, and I'm, I was not good, but... I was drawn to it and I figured it out. And so um, that's what started my love of it. And I've just been blessed on my journey to have mentors and teachers and family members who have believed in that and have made it available to me. So that one experience captured your imagination. It did, yeah. it did. Even though you felt you weren't good, you thought, I can do this. It was something, yes. <laughs> it was a brand new, I, I instantly became obsessed with it and started <laughs> finding any VHS, because back then it was VHS rentals from the library of anything regarding drums and percussion, um, stopping and watching drummers any chance I had in live environments and just really paying attention to them. So now after that. 24 years, I think you said 24 years mm -hmm. of drumming uh, percussion, uh, what's, in your view, what is the difference between a good drummer and a bad drummer? Oh, man. You know, uh, a lot of the drummers that I respect and look up to as musicians, one of the things they talk about a lot is that it is more important to know when not to play than when to play. Um, knowing about how to thoughtfully approach uh, a song and knowing that it is not ever all about you, especially in a support role like percussion or drums. 
Um, Unless you're but, doing a drum solo. <laughs> the, yeah, which is not something that I do very often at all. And thankfully, I'm not called to do that. It's yeah. not, that doesn't have a, a, a prominent space in praise and worship especially, right, which is right. something I, I focused uh, my, my ministry on. But, um, but yeah, being very thoughtful on how to approach and when to know, uh, when to just stop and, and be quiet. Hmm. I think wow. that's one of the hardest lessons to learn. Mm. And, and as you mature as a musician, those those things do come and Absolutely. you realize, yeah, I need to lay back a little Absolutely. bit at With times. With painting, it's kind of like, in, especially in Japanese painting, I've heard that it's the white space on the canvas, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. that you need to leave a certain amount of white space right. in order for right. the painting to be done well. Yeah, Absolutely. has to breathe, has to Absolutely. have a little space, yeah. Well, I'm really looking forward to hearing. Uh, you brought some percussion instruments uh, with you. I love percussionists, Rich, because th this table is a musical instrument to a percussionist. <laughs> they can Absolutely. literally find the spots that they, you know, or this this arm on the couch. You <laughs> know, they're just so creative, uh, and it's great. Describe so, for us that uh, uh, bar or that pedestal or whatever you want to absolutely. call it. Absolutely. I'll talk about my, my stuff here. So as I've mentioned, I come from a, a drum set background. And so uh, over, over the years of playing, there were times um, that I came to do ministry in music where perhaps a drum set might have been overwhelming to look at. And so I developed a different, uh, a different set of tools that resemble similar sounds and feels to drums, but don't look like drums and so it can be a little more accepting in different environments where people right. may be opposed to drums but you know percussion and natural wood looking um, instruments that are played with hands or light brushes or shakers are, are more approachable. So what I have here is a semi non-traditional cajon which is a Peruvian drum it's a, uh, also known as a box drum. Traditionally you would see them where a percussionist would sit on top of it but mine's actually on a stand and it's it's if you want to call it tuned a little bit differently to resemble a bit more of the drum set tones. It's got more, um, more sound variation along it than a traditional one. Then there's an, a floor piece called a porch board, which was actually developed for guitar players who wanted to play along and have something to tap their foot on. But I have I was gifted it many years ago, and it has become an integral piece to my percussion setup. Um, and it is always a point of interest for anyone that hears it because it's a really unique, a unique sound and very um, unobtrusive looking, but it, it, it provides a, a really neat um, low end sound. And then I've brought an, an uh, just a selection of a little foot tambourine and some shakers and a brush that I'll use on the cajon that I enjoy just for providing different textures and, and uh, approaching the songs. Cool. Well, we're anxious to hear it. Why don't you guys, uh, Rich? And I'm going to do a, a portion of a couple of songs uh, to give him something to play with so we can illustrate, you know, Great. what he does. Great. Absolutely. You get set up for that. And uh, Nicholas, I know you're a drummer too. And, I am. and we, we talked about that. So, uh, and I'm a frustrated drummer. Oh. I, I love the idea of being a drummer and I can do a little bit, but I, I'm not that good. But uh, it's really fun to hear someone that really does know what they're doing, yes. uh, as Casey and you both do. And those are shakers, those paint cans. They right? are. Yeah. Yes. They're a unique shaker, but I love their sound. Yeah. And they're by a company that produces high-end shakers. And yeah. It's, an, it's, an, it's a neat talking point as well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's one thing about being a musician is it really annoys you when you're not in tune. <laughs> <laughs> crazy life They make me wander in the night Where am I headed? Who am I? What is the reason that I fight? Oh, I'm standing in the middle 
of the road There's traffic on both sides And I don't know where to go Oh, I'm standing In the middle of today the Decisions must be made I'm standing in the right of way I love what, you know, you can hear, Rich, that when just the changes and the dynamics that KC plays with that it just adds so much to the music. Suspended in time, we are here for today. Living a dream that will soon pass away. These moments will then be called yesterday For these are the days of our lives Oh, these are the days of our lives With time on our hands, we have choices to make How will we spend it? are awake time flies so quickly before it's too late teach us to number our days oh teach us to number our days these are the days are the days of our lives fill with our voices our laughter our cries there's so much to These are the days, are the days of our lives. Yeah, it's great. Uh, both of you just have added uh, to God's story today. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I really value, and I know that the, the, the viewers uh, just love to hear what, what people are doing uh, creatively in their own lives and just uh, in your lives. And to, uh, to have you here has really added to, to what, we, uh, what we're doing here. Any, any final thoughts, uh, anyone? Yeah. Just appreciate the opportunity. Yeah. You know, our, our goals here with Inspire, and I know, Rich, uh, uh, so much of this is, is your brainchild in, in terms of just letting people know about artists like these guys mm -hmm. and and uh it's been such a nice thing to be able to feature you know people like this so mm -hmm. thank you again for coming and, and check out our our website you know yes visit inspire.org visit inspire.org okay yeah. good and if our viewers uh are interested in coming onto our show if you're involved with creative arts that is helping to tell God's story. We just would love you to, to contact us and let us know. If there's anyone you know, have them come on down too. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.